So here we have a little owl that has that is sitting properly. He has his two legs tucked in underneath his body. You know when an owl has splayed leg or spatel leg as they call it, if the leg is out like that, and that can happen. What it means is that the joint has become dis disengaged from the socket. And if it's not rectified, the bird can have very poor posture for the remainder of his life, so it's as well defeated while they're young. Three cable ties. And the best way to do it is with the bird upside down. Oh boy. Actually, what we'll do is we'll attach the cable tie first of all, make it easier. It's a little bit like putting on a leg ring. So, oh boy. So what you do is you get your cable tie, and you put it right over until it catches just below the toe at the back, but it's not too tight. Cut off that bit. I know you hate this, don't you? Huh? Um, you get your same for the other tie. leg. Again, make sure that it's back behind the toe and that it's not too tight. Because remember, these little fellas grow literally by the day and the feet grow very, very quickly. Eh, and you're trying to bite scissors. So what we're going to do now is, okay, we have two cable ties on the legs. I'm going to get the third cable. I'm going to feed it from here and right across to the other one. No biting, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have the two cable ties and we have the center tie. We have to cut the two together. Okay. And you very gently, keeping the board upside down, you pull the two legs in to the point where they're positioned. So basically what you're doing is you're pulling the limbs back into the socket. And you hold it in place and you cut your cable tie here. Now, to the onlooker, that actually might look a little bit cruel. But to the person in the know, that's probably the best and the most caring so thing that you can do to a bird with a leg. Down. So what he does is, when you have the cable, now this board has no problem, so it's probably not a good example to use a board that has perfect posture and that doesn't have a splayed leg. But basically what it does is when you pull the joints in and you, 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 you attach the mid-center cable tie to, let's say, if, if it's quite bad, you bring the legs in good and close so that he basically maintains a good sitting position. So with the cable ties like that, he's still able to move around, he's still able to walk, and what you do, he's still able to feed, there's no changes in any part of his day-to-day -day existence. And then what you do, while he's recovered, and while he's at this stage, get your ordinary Chinese bowl takeaway, a little bit of kitchen towel. So what he does, the reason that he has this little cot, as I call it, is that he's kind of more encouraged to sit in an upright position and bring the legs, the two legs under his body, holding them in position, and he's not as inclined to be rolling over. With the splayed leg, as they get stronger, they tend to roll over onto their back, and the little bird can get very distressed, and actually he can kill them um, from rolling over and just getting disorientated. Um, so I hope that's helpful. And that's what you do, and that's how you treat the splayed leg. It takes about 10 days, but you'll know yourself. And as I said, every time that you're feeding, you check the bird, you make sure that the cable ties on the legs are not too tight. So when we hold them up here, we'll see that there's good flexibility. 
on the cable ties and if it's a case that they're gone too tight on the leg you just cut them below the toe very carefully and always use one of these what you call them nail scissors or something something very small that you're not going to cause any injury to the skin or to the toe or anything like that so there you go and that's a perfectly healthy little owl